Hey everyone, it's Elsie here. Hope you're all well. So, got a um, video for you today, obviously, hence why you're on YouTube watching it. Um, <laughs> this layout, um, well, it's inspired by um, something. Uh, <laughs> oh gosh, okay, it was inspired by the Drop Magazine mood board for this month, which is very yellow. I'll put it up on the screen now so you can see if you haven't seen it already um it's really cool very yellow and i was like hmm this is really fun what can i do with this and then i was like what does yellow mean to me hmm and you know i had a bit of a ponder about what yellow means to me and to me yellow means sunshine or lemons apparently those are like the first two things that came to mind um, so I went with sunshine rather than the lemons because I don't really understand the whole lemony thing on paper. Mm, not my thing. So went with the sunshine and then I decided to do this like sunbursty design. Um, because I had that photo that I, I don't know whether I showed it. I had a photo that I'd already cut into a circle for some reason that I never used and it was just lying on my desk so I thought meh just gonna pick that up and use it um so okay what I did I did measuring as you know I don't own a silhouette die cutting machine anything like that so doing everything by hand and a craft knife and my own stupidity um as you can see there because I started cutting out the wrong thing to anyway so I measured up measured up anyway I measured um I work in the rule of thirds, basically. If you don't know what it is, it's the rule of thirds. Yeah, there goes my teaching. <laughs> so, um, basically, working on a 12 by 12 piece of paper, I measured, um, could divide that into three, that is four. <laughs> Maths with Alzi, aren't you pleased you clicked on this video? Um, so, yeah, I basically put the worked out where the photo would be which was in the middle of the thing um <laughs> in the middle of the fourth centimeter rather than like the eighth or no the eighth would have worked as well because that would have been yeah anyway four centimeters four inches sorry four inches from the edge so I'm used to working in centimeters and it's just really confusing having to like convert inches four inches um and then I just drew like sunbursty beams coming from it and each one's like a centimetre apart on the circle, that's how I kind of measured it and yeah, it kind of worked out better than I thought it would apart from me accidentally cutting the wrong thing out which is, I mean it's, it's me, come on, <laughs> considered. Anyway, I fixed it, nothing a bit of washi tape won't fix and then I ended up backing all of this on a piece of paper so it's fine, it's very sturdy, it's not coming undone. So I went through my stash and just picked out a load of yellow papers. And I was quite surprised that I did actually have yellow papers, um, or as many as I did, really. Um, so I got some from Felicity Jane, um, where else? <laughs> Pink Paisley, Dear Lizzie, um, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, are they all? No, they can't all be. Pink Paisley, Dear Lizzie, Felicity Jane, Maggie Holmes, Bloom. That's, that's what I was missing. Great paper. <sighs> great paper, great paper. You see what I did there? See what I did there? So, yeah, just grabbed all of the yellow wee yellowiness <laughs> um, from moustache and then made sure things were like sort of a similar shade of yellow if that makes sense like I didn't want anything mustard although I did because in the Felicity Jane next stop kit it's like my favourite paper ever it's like mustard it's one of the mustard and like the swiggly swiggles um, you know what I mean <laughs> um, but it's lovely but it didn't match any of the other yellows so I didn't use it but I did use it oh Pink Fresh Studio as well I used Pink Fresh Studio that paper's from the Felicity collection it's very nice um, so yeah just went and backed everything up and I felt really fancy because I was like oh look at me I'm like 
I'm using a cut file even though I'm not. Ha ha ha. Um, so it's really satisfying backing papers onto something. Like, I don't get that thrill because of the no silhouette thing happening in my life. But it's really fun. Um, so, yeah, just back in the faux cut file. Um, it's not really a file. Oh yeah, okay, I had a bit of a disaster with this. Um, I nearly, nearly gave up on this layout very early on at this stage actually because I was cutting one of the papers and I cut my hand. Um, it's my own stupidity. It wasn't anyone else's fault, obviously. I mean, like, a, anyway. It wasn't anyone else's fault but mine, but that's why I'm holding the kitchen roll because I can't find a plaster and in a minute you might see me with kitchen roll and sellotape wrapped around my hand because I couldn't find a plaster. But then I did find a plaster, so yay, <laughs> go me. Um, so yeah, as you can see there, trimmed off all the edges and yeah, I like the way it looks. Um, I was a bit, I don't know, I'm sure about it. At the start, I um, decided that I was going to make it slightly, um, like trim it a bit off the edge. I think I trimmed about a centimetre off the edges. Um, well, like half a centimetre off each edge kind of thing. Um, because, oh, I'm moving really fast here. Um, because I knew this was going to be quite busy. Um, so, I don't know, I felt like having sort of like a white border would sort of make it less so busy <laughs> um, and as you can see I stitched um, I don't know it just felt like it needed some sort of border and I didn't want to draw anything and then I was like I'm just gonna stitch it I could have machi machine stitched it that might have looked fine as well and it would have been a lot quicker but I don't know I like the hand stitching thing and I was looking at the mood board and I think it's in picture three there's like some sort of ye yellowy cord like texture kind of thing so I was like okay that's kind of like going to be my texture because I was going to um, add some wood grain in um, I think you saw me at the beginning pull that um, Felicity Jane like whitewash wood grain out and um, I just couldn't get it to work um, it just didn't really properly match and I just yeah so I went with kind of adding texture through the thread and I like that so yeah it's quite fun not working from like a single collection or a single kit or anything like that. It's just fun just to like sort of grab things and then just think, yep, I'm going to plot that down. Um, it's all very technical. Um, so that little bunting thing is from the Maggie Holmes Bloom collection. And it's got this cute little yellow bird on it, which is why I pulled it out. Um, but I'm bringing other colours. I'm not sticking to the yellow thing. Um, I think because... I don't know. I couldn't help it. It just ended up that I was just like, oh, look at this cloud. It's sunshine and a cloud. And then the blue came in and then the bunting and the pink came in. And then, you know, before you know it, I had a pink, blue and yellow colour scheme. And I like it. <laughs> so, yeah, just going to go with it. Um, what am I doing now? I'm doing clusters of things, which is something, if you know me, I don't really do. Um... But I still wasn't sure about this layout at this point. I actually do like the end result, but throughout the whole time I was like, oh, I don't know whether I like this. It's not really me. Um, but, yeah, it's not my favourite, but it's really fun, and I do like it. In the end, it's definitely not one I'm going to, like, rip up and hate in, um, I don't know, five months' time kind of thing. Um, so, yeah. I like it. So, I think looking at this now, like from this perspective, like from, you know, this angle, it kind of, um, the bunting thing really worked because I think I, because I put it up on foam and I put my photo up on foam and I put basically everything else up on foam. The, <laughs> the, the sunburst, sunshine strips of all the pattern paper looks more like a background than like the focal point if you get me like it's very much there like you're not going to miss it but it's it kind of works I think um and this is very much more embellished than I would usually ever have 
anything. <laughs> so I think that's why I just felt really unsure about it. Um, I should explain the photo. The photo is from me on holiday and I'm holding a flaming mojito. <laughs> um, it wasn't actually flaming, it, it like they put sparklers in it and I got a photo and it was the perfect excuse to use that simple stories ephemera piece which is the um, the little jar and with the lemon thing on it. Oh I went with lemons! Oh, it's like sunshine and lemons. Oh, that was good of me. I didn't even realise I'd done that. I realised I'd done that. I was very, very intelligent in my thinking about the yellow thing. Anyway, I wasn't. Um, so, yeah, I'm just having a play around. And what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the drink. Um, yeah, they stuck sparklers in it. And it was a great excuse to use that little mason jar -y ephemera piece with the lemon in it um because I love that it's so cute the simple stories sun blah, blah, blah. simple stories sunshine and happiness collection is so nice like totally unexpected I got mine from scrubby um I only got the ephemera pack and the 12 by 12 sticker sheet um and I was so surprised how cheap it was like <laughs> so much cheaper everywhere else apart from in England honestly like um I, I had to order from Scrubby anyway because I needed some new page protectors for Project Life and they didn't have them anywhere over here like Design A page protectors are like gold dust like they're so hard to find like when they're in stock kind of thing and they were just on Scrubby and even with all the shipping and everything it was still cheaper and I was like okay well I'm just going to bulk out this order and order like two more things kind of thing um, and I ordered that um, and I really like it it's just a really fun, nice little thing to add to the kit. Um, not add to my kit, just add to my stash. Um, it's fun and I like it. So, what else am I doing? Oh yeah, I also use the Fancy Pants Life is Beautiful um, stuff. <laughs> um, ephemera pack, which I love as well. It's so full of things and it has hot air balloons in it. And it has... Uh, banners and clouds and flowers and butterflies and I love it it's lovely and it worked perfectly as well just like matched everything matched and considering I use so many different brands and sort of <laughs> makes and things like that it all just worked in the end so I was happy um I was originally gonna go I think I showed you a bit, I was stamping the flowers because um, in the mood board there was the flowers in like the little jars and I was like ooh I really like that but then I decided not to go for that just because I don't know I just couldn't make it work. So yeah basically nearly done now I'm just adding some little butterflies using my teeny tiny butterfly punch which I love because it's so cute and small. Um, and I love butterflies, so um, yeah, that's me done. I'll leave you with some close-ups. Um, also, I'll leave a link to the Drop Magazine mood board thing, so you can go have a look at that. So thank you so much for watching, and hope you're having a lovely day, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!